Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, today we're talking about the latest bombshell to rock the House of Windsor, and let me tell you, it's a doozy. So, picture this. Princess Eugenie, usually the quiet one in the royal bunch, suddenly decides to go full paparazzi on her own cousins. That's right, she's dropped a photobomb bigger than Prince Philip's famous gaffes, and it's got everyone from Buckingham to Balmoral clutching their pearls. Now, before we dive in, let's get one thing straight. This isn't your run-of-the-mill family squabble over who gets the last scone at tea time. Oh no, we're talking about allegations of child exploitation, folks. It's like keeping up with the Kardashians, met the crown, had a baby, and that baby grew up to be a scandalous Instagram post. So what's the deal? Well, apparently, Princess Eugenie decided to play amateur detective and posted some rather unflattering pics of Harry and Meghan with their kids, Archie and Lilibet. And when I say unflattering, I'm not talking about a bad hair day or an unfortunate choice of fascinator. We're talking about photos that have people questioning whether the Sussexes are using their kids as props in their never-ending PR circus. Now let's break this down, shall we? In one corner, we have Harry and Meghan, the royal rebels who decided that the stuffy old monarchy wasn't their cup of Earl Grey. They jetted off to the land of opportunity, promising to live a quieter life away from the prying eyes of the press. Spoiler alert, that didn't exactly pan out as planned. In the other corner, we have Princess Eugenie, the dark horse of the royal family, usually content to stay in the background, occasionally popping up at a charity event or a royal wedding. But apparently, she's decided to trade in her tiara for a Woodward and Bernstein fedora because she's going full investigative journalist on us. The photos in question. Well, they're not exactly your typical royal family Christmas card material. We're talking about shots of Archie looking more miserable than Prince Charles at a Spotify board meeting. While Meghan's got her eyes locked on the nearest camera, then there's little Lilibet, squinting like she's just discovered the sun exists, while Harry's grinning at the crowd like he's auditioning for a toothpaste commercial. Now, I know what you're thinking, but critic, don't all parents have moments where they're not exactly hashtag parenting goals? And you'd be right. If I had a dollar for every time, I saw a kid having a meltdown in the grocery store while their parent pretended not to notice, I'd be richer than the queen herself. But here's the thing. Harry and Meghan aren't just any parents. They're royal parents. And more importantly, they're royal parents who've made a big ol' fuss about protecting their children's privacy. Remember all that hubbub about not wanting Archie to have a title so he could live a normal life? Yeah. That aged about as well as Prince Andrew's friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. So when photos surface showing them seemingly more interested in the cameras than their kids' comfort, well, it's like watching a vegan chow down on a Big Mac. It just doesn't quite fit the image they've been trying to sell us. But let's not let Princess Eugenie off the hook here. I mean, what in the name of all that's royal possessed her to post these pics? Is this her audition for Real Housewives of Buckingham Palace? Because if so, honey, you're gonna need to up your game. A few unflattering photos. Please, call me when you've flipped a table or thrown a drink in someone's face. Some folks are saying Eugenie's just looking out for her little cousins, a regular Royal Mary Poppins, if you will. Others think she's playing a long game, trying to shift public opinion back in favor of the stay-at-home royals. Personally, I think she might just be tired of being the other princess and decided to spice things up a bit. I mean, when your claim to fame is being the daughter of Prince Andrew, you've got nowhere to go but up, right? But here's where it gets really juicy, folks. Rumor has it that the real parents of these kids, yes, you heard that right, are considering legal action. Now, I know what you're thinking, real parents, but I thought Harry and Meghan were the parents. Oh, my sweet summer children, welcome to the wonderful world of conspiracy theories. Apparently, there's a whole subset of royal watchers who believe that Archie and Lilibet are about as real as unicorns or a Brexit plan that makes sense. They think Harry and Meghan have been renting kids for photo ops, like some sort of twisted royal version of Rent A Center. And now, these theorists claim... The actual parents of these rented kids are mad as hell and aren't going to take it anymore. 
Is it likely? About as likely as the queen abdicating to become a Vedas showgirl. But is it entertaining? You bet your royal behind it is. Now, Buckingham Palace, in their infinite wisdom, has decided to respond to this circus with all the enthusiasm of a sloth on Valium. They've issued a statement that basically amounts to please respect everyone's privacy, especially the children's, which, in royal speak, translates to for the love of God, stop talking about this before we all die of embarrassment. Harry and Meghan, meanwhile, are doing their best impression of ostriches with their heads in the sand. Their spokesperson has trotted out the usual lines about their dedication to their children and their ongoing efforts to protect them from public scrutiny, which, given the current situation, is a bit like claiming you're on a diet while face deep in a tub of ice cream. But here's the real kicker in all of this, the sheer unadulterated hypocrisy of it all. Harry and Meghan left the royal family because they wanted privacy, right? They were sick of living in a fishbowl, tired of having their every move scrutinized, Fair enough, but then they proceeded to do more interviews than a presidential candidate, release a Netflix documentary, and write a tell-all book. It's like quitting your job at McDonald's because you're sick of the smell of fries, only to open up your own burger joint next door. And now, with these photos, they're caught in a right royal catch-22. If they admit the photos show poor judgment, they're essentially admitting to exploiting their kids. If they deny it, they look like they're in denial. It's a lose-lose situation, which, let's be honest, is kind of their specialty at this point. But let's zoom out for a second and look at the bigger picture. What does this whole debacle say about us as a society? We're obsessed with these people, folks. We scrutinize their every move, analyze their every word, dissect their every photo, and for what? So we can feel better about our own lives, so we can have something to gossip about over our morning coffee. Maybe, just maybe, we're all complicit in this circus. Maybe by constantly demanding access to their lives, we've created a situation where they feel they have to constantly perform for us. It's like we've turned the royal family into a 24 7 reality show, and then we have the audacity to criticize them for playing to the cameras. But here's the thing, they're not just characters in a show. They're real people with real feelings and real children who didn't ask to be born into this madness, Archie and Lilibet, whether they're rented or not. And let's be real, they're not. Our innocent kids caught in the crossfire of a media war they never signed up for. So where do we go from here? Well, if I were a betting man, and I'm not, because gambling is frowned upon in royal circles, I'd say this story is far from over. We're probably in for weeks, if not months, of back-and-forth accusations, carefully worded statements, and enough speculation to fill a library. Will Princess Eugenie emerge as the unlikely hero of this story, the voice of reason in a sea of madness, or will she be cast as the villain, the jealous cousin stirring up trouble? Will Harry and Meghan be able to salvage their image, or is this the final nail in the coffin of their private citizen facade? And what about the kids? Will Archie and Lilibet grow up to write their own tell-all books, spilling the tea on their unconventional childhood? Only time will tell, folks. But one thing's for sure, the royal family drama shows no signs of slowing down. It's like a soap opera that never ends, a train wreck we just can't look away from. And as your friendly neighborhood critic, I'll be here, popcorn in hand, ready to dissect every juicy detail. So, what do you think? Is Princess Eugenie a concerned cousin or a troublemaking meddler? Are Harry and Meghan victims of circumstance or masters of manipulation? And most importantly, do you think the Queen has a secret stash of popcorn for moments like these? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more royalty. This is your friendly neighborhood critic, signing off. Remember, in the immortal words of Shakespeare, all the world's a stage. And apparently, the royal family is putting on one hell of a show. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.